So in this video, I'm gonna show you the difference between a fake and a real Louis Vuitton Toiletry 26. So the Toiletry 26 has become one of Louis Vuitton's most popular bags since Princess Diana was saw wearing it on the beach in the early 1990s. So since Diana was seen rocking the bag, it's since been discontinued due to a cheeky hack that customers were doing that absolutely infuriated Louis Vuitton. Brands like Handbag Angels came up with a trick where you could use one of these inserts and one of these chains and turn it either cross body or just over your shoulder. We actually did a video on TikTok that went super viral showing you exactly how to do it so I'll link it here. So if you didn't know that that definitely deserves to subscribe. You can go and tell all your friends now and you'll look like a fashion expert. If you have a toiletry 26 let me know whether you've done this or do you think it's tacky? Do you think that a toiletry bag should just stay a toiletry bag? So Louis Vuitton were outraged by this and they stopped production of this particular bag in 2021. So because Louis Vuitton did this the bag became rarer much more expensive and extremely hard to find. So what does this mean? Well, fake manufacturers have actually took advantage of this and there are a lot more fakes on the market now than there's ever been of this particular bag. So the first place I like to start when we're authenticating the Louis Vuitton is the packaging. And this is because fake manufacturers never ever get this right. If you take a look at the fake box, for example, the orange on the outside is too bright. And when you open it up, the inside is too yellow. It should be a slightly faded orange on the exterior like this and a pale peach color on the inside of the box. You will also never see mistakes or shabby boxes where you can see lots of creases and poor finishing like you can see on this fake one here. The font on this fake dust bag is blue when it should be a very, very dark navy color that looks almost black unless you're looking very closely. I know what you're saying. What if it doesn't come with any packaging? How am I meant to tell? Okay. Let's take a look at the actual bag. So this is the real one and this is the fake one. They do look pretty similar, but when you break it down piece by piece, it becomes very obvious how bad the fake ones actually are. So firstly, let's talk about how the bag actually holds itself. If you hold the bag at the bottom, the fake one is much more square and structured. So when you squeeze it, there's not much give at all. The real one is very floppy and it can be compressed really easily. Next, I wanna talk about a really important part of the bag and that's the tab on the side. So every Louis Vuitton bag has a tab where it tells you where the bag was made. And in this case, it's the best place to authenticate this particular bag. The fake tab is much thicker, wider and longer. It's just a lot bigger. It also has pale yellow stitching and bright red paint around the edges. The real one has bright yellow stitching, much smaller font, and a dark red gloss finish around the side of the tab. If you actually look closely at the fake one, you can tell it's been made with a sloppy hand because there's paint that's ran over to the front of the tab. Another important place to look is the hardware. So on this particular bag, especially, is the zips. Louis Vuitton has different zips for different items. Typically, the male item zippers are always bigger than the female item zippers, but this this is a women's bag, so they should be the exact same. It seems the fake manufacturers of this bag have gotten mixed up because the size of the zipper on the fake bag is much bigger than it should be. The genuine ones have a much more petite zip. It doesn't need a big zip, it's a small bag. So there are two more things that I wanna to touch on. The last thing being absolutely vital. But first, let's take a look at the interior of the bag. So similar to the inside of the fake box, the fake bag has a yellow interior. It shouldn't be like this. It should be a nice, pale, neutral nude color. Now this, to me, is the most important part of the bag. It's the date code. If you don't know what a Louis Vuitton date code is or you don't know how to read them, let me know in the comment section and I will do a whole video covering it. So on the fake bag, the date code is written in gold foil. This should never, ever, ever be the case on the Toiletry 26s. They should always be imprinted on the leather like this. Yes, it's harder to read, but it's a way to ensure its authenticity. Let me know in the comment section whether this video helped you out. Don't forget to watch our reviews with Ella on Tuesdays, our vlogs on Thursdays, and our fashion education with me on a Sunday.